This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dixon from Twitter Designs. Just want to let you guys know a quick update on me. I got tested positive for COVID like two days ago, and now I've moved into my new house, which is still being renovated. So, you know, I'm sorry for the echo. You know, it's a new house, so it's basically empty. Yeah, I'm keeping myself in quarantine. Luckily, I don't have any severe COVID symptoms, but yeah, guys, take care of yourselves out there. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn any photo into a 3D Chrome using photoshop it's a very useful effect that can be applied on shirt designs as well so let's go today i'm using this model stock photo i got from unsplash it's free for download just click on the link below if you want to get it for this tutorial but this effect works with any kind of photo that focuses on a subject so it doesn't really matter if you want to use this same stock photo or not first off gonna unlock the layer by clicking on this lock icon then we go to this quick actions panel here and hit select subject it'll do its thing and trace the subject in a photo of course it's not 100 perfect so using the quick selection tool we're going to select the unselected areas and then basically just clean it up real quick once you're done just hit m on your keyboard to select the marquee tool and then go to this panel here and click select and mask just copy the settings right here and hit ok It'll smooth out the edges of the crop subject so it's not too rough. Moving on, I'm gonna add a solid color adjustment layer to the back. So just head over to this button here and select solid color. Drag the color picker to this bottom left corner and OK. Next, we apply the mask layer. So just right click on it and apply. Then we convert it to smart object because from this point on, we'll start adding the effects. First effect is the black and white. Go to image, adjustments, black and white hit on the auto button here and then ok second effect is the curves this is the effect that gives the chrome look so again go to image adjustment and then curves and the graph right here i'm gonna click on it to create this wavy form you can try adjusting it to your own liking as well Once that's done, I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate this layer and then rasterize it. Hit Command I to invert the colors and then I'm going to set the blending mode to difference. Now this will further solidify the chrome look where it'll fill in the areas where the chrome look doesn't apply. Before I move on, I want to thank today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is hands down the best investment I've made since I've started using it a year ago. With over 50 million assets available at your disposal, you can easily browse through their vast resource library for premium assets. Whether it's fonts for your posters, stock photos for your shirt designs, or logo animation for your YouTube videos, Envato Elements has got you covered. My personal favorite feature is the 3D assets library. So just go to the search bar, select 3D, type in what you need, and you get endless collection of 3D assets. Envato Elements 3D models allow you to rotate and select the angle to best suit your design and you can download it as PNG file. Another good thing about this is that they offer unlimited downloads where you can download all the assets you want with only one subscription. Click the link below to get 50% off on annual subscription giving you full access for just $16.50 per month. Now back to the video. Let's zoom in for a better look. The issue we have now is that the effect looks too sharp because every little details on the statue pop up. It's too strong so we're gonna smooth it up for that clean chrome look by starting with the surface blur. So I'll go to filter, blur, surface blur, set 20 for the radius and 20 for the threshold, then OK. Then we add the oil paint effect by going to filter, stylize, oil paint. Set 2 for the stylization, 2 for the cleanliness, and 10 for both scale and bristle. Untick the lighting if you have it on. Lastly, we're going to add the plastic wrap filter. So go to filter, filter gallery, and under the artistic drop down, select plastic wrap. Just copy the settings here and OK. 
Then we double click on this icon next to the filter gallery. Change the blending mode to linear dodge and the opacity to 20%. It's almost done now guys, final step is adding an inner glow to the statue. Um, let me reset it to default and show it to you guys step by step. So set the blending mode to color dodge, 55 for the opacity and then the size 50 and that is it guys. You have now learned this effect and hopefully it's an easy one for you. You can now turn it into a shirt design by adding some text uh, for the brand name and then maybe some subtext below and we're done. That's it for today guys, hope you learned something useful today. Please keep yourself safe out there, COVID is not a joke, it really sucks. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, I upload once every week so don't miss out. Follow me on TikTok for more content, see you in the next one. <laughs>